All right, first debate topic, old Minecraft versus new Minecraft. This I'm putting in D tier. It's like, once again, I think it's only the nostalgia talking when we're talking about old Minecraft. New Minecraft is kind of just better in like every single way, especially when it comes to building and adventuring and that kind of stuff. Like the worlds are so much better nowadays. The blocks are so much better. Just everything about new Minecraft is just better than old Minecraft. And people that, you know, are stuck in the past, they can play the old version if they want. But I don't want Minecraft to just stay the same forever. So I think it's kind of a, a bad argument. Java versus Bedrock. Okay, this is the iconic Minecraft debate argument, and I'm putting it in B tier, mainly only because of the infamy of the whole debate. Like, when it really comes down to it, I think a lot of people really know that Java is just better than Bedrock. So it's kind of a one-sided debate. People that fight for Bedrock over Java, they're wrong, okay? <laughs> Bedrock's not better, unfortunately. And a lot of people that play Bedrock know that. It's a big one-sided debate, and it's also kind of a dumb debate because, you know, Minecraft is Minecraft, but Java is better than Bedrock, okay? So that's a B-tier debate. 1.8 PVP versus modern PVP. This is, in my opinion, easily an S-tier debate. This debate has been around ever since they changed the PVP back in 1.9, and it has completely split the community, with some servers just staying in 1.8 PVP forever. I mean, I personally like the modern PVP, but I also came from playing Bedrock mainly. There's something appealing about the new PVP to me, but I mean, it's hardly even new. It's like eight years old or seven years old or however old it is now, but I don't think there's many debates that can top this debate. It's like the argument is to be made either way that what Minecraft should have done in this whole thing. All right, old textures versus new textures. This is basically old Minecraft versus new Minecraft. It's just a slightly better version of that because you're talking about just the textures alone. And that's like a little bit less controversial and also dumb. So it's like a C tier. I mean, you could say that the old textures are better and I'd say for some blocks they might be. But I think overall it was a good change. And I, I think a lot of people just think it was a point let change. Like, why do they need to change the textures? They really didn't. I, I don't exactly know why they did it. I mean, maybe it's just to freshen things up. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not mad at it. I mean, I like the way stone looks and, you know, all the changes that they made and there's a lot of ugly, ugly blocks. I'm looking at you, Netherrack. I think it was a good change. It's better than old Minecraft versus new Minecraft. So it's C tier. Is the Elytra good versus is the Elytra bad? This is like a, it's a B tier. There is an argument to be made that Elytras kind of do break Minecraft where it's like, oh, you get to fly around. But like, if you've played any survival and you've tried to travel or like build or do anything, dude, if you don't have an Elytra, things are so slow. And I think as generation got bigger, I mean, the Elytra came way before like generation changes and all that, like world generation. But now with all that stuff and all the new blocks and like just the mega builds people are making, it would be so difficult and tedious to make it without Elytra that I think at this point, it is a must in the game to have it it changed minecraft a lot you get to move around quicker i think it's best that the elytra is here but it's still a fair debate is mending good versus mending bad this is very similar to the elytra this is why 1.9 was like easily the most controversial update of all time i think mending is good i'm putting this at a c tier debate because it's slightly worse than the elytra debate but once again an argument is to be made that it kind of makes getting the best tools kind of pointless and also kind of just a one-time thing like unless you die and lose your stuff i mean I think mending is good. It's once again, like a quality of life thing. Like the 1.9 was kind of just the quality of life update when it came to that kind of stuff. Like that's why I'm not too anti 1.9, but I completely understand why a lot of people hate that update. Does infinity or mending belong on a bow? This is an A tier debate. This is like one of the more less cutthroat debates that are out there. Like it's actually a good debate, you know? Like it's not tearing each other down unless you just like disrespect the people that use mending on a bow because I don't. I'm an infinity guy. I use infinity on my bows mainly because I played Minecraft before mending. I didn't even know you could put mending on a bow until like multiple years after mending was even added, bro. And at that point I was like, but if it gets rid of infinity, then it's useless. I've just always been thinking I never use my bow that much, you know? So it's like, I don't really understand the need to have to keep it at full durability because I almost never go through it. I don't know. It is a very constructive and a helpful debate because you actually have to 
think about the pros and cons of each. When it comes to some of these other debates, there's less pros and cons. It's more personal preference when it comes to the other ones. Minecraft versus Roblox. This is mainly debate with younger children when it comes to the game, and this is an F tier debate. Minecraft and Roblox are not the same game. Obviously, Roblox... Okay, well, I... <laughs> Roblox is worse, okay? But it's also completely different, even though they're both blocky in some senses, but also very not in other ways. They're just not the same game, even though Minecraft is better, in my opinion. Okay, that's my opinion. But Minecraft is better than Roblox. But it's also just a dumb debate. It's dumb. It's stupid. It's, it's like comparing apples to oranges, except, I mean, it's kind of exactly like that because apples and oranges are both round and they're both fruit. They're both video games and they both, you can make things in them and run around as a character which is every video game ever i think it's a dumb debate and now we get down to vertical slabs and the mob vote it's a yes or no are vertical slabs good and is the mob vote good vertical slabs i'm not much of a builder so i can't speak much on this but as a non-builder vertical slabs would make my life easier when it comes to building like smelling out walls or adding detail or adding color in some spots like i i'm not that good when it comes to that kind of stuff i've made a few good builds in my day but dude it took a long time to make those like way too long and honestly like the things that some people make is kind of crazy so i think vertical slabs would be a positive for the community i know mojang has said they will not add vertical slabs because it would like ruin creativity and stuff like i i can kind of understand that but at the same time i really don't you like you know like i feel like you could do so many things with vertical slabs and you make like terrain you can make terrain look really good with vertical slabs like making like a steep mountain face that's like I, I don't know. I feel like vertical slabs would just be good. The mob vote, I think I can unanimously agree with 99% of the community. When I say the mob vote is not exactly the greatest thing in the world, I think the concept of the mob vote is good, but like in reality, it just, it kind of just doesn't work. Having two of them cut out of Minecraft forever will leave a lot of people disappointed. Recently, a lot of the mob vote mobs have just been really lackluster, you know? Like, I've never gotten the sniffer in survival. I got like the best armor in the game with like silence armor trims, which you have to find in the ancient cities and whatnot. And like, a, like I got a 1% chance to find them. And I got netherite trims with that. Like that took time to do, but like I've never cared to be like, hey, I wonder if I can get a sniffer doing archeology span and like going to get a sniffer. It's like, it's kind of pointless, right? Like I don't need flowers. I don't need the sniffer flowers. So the mob vote in theory, it's good. In practice, it just doesn't work. And the community is not loving it right now. And I'm one of them that isn't exactly loving it. I don't even remember who I voted for in the mob vote. That's how little I care about it at this point. Well, that about wraps up. If I missed any debate topics, you can uh, drop them in the comments and then I can maybe talk about them in a future video or just talk about them in the comments. I don't know, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.